What's up everyone? This is Top 100 with HU Hub and we're here to do a demonstration video for the QLife H2 Respire 150. Uh, this system has passed all of our performance testing um, and analysis and it's, 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 it's a great product. And so we did all the tests on it. So we wanna go ahead and do a demonstration video uh, showing you how to operate the system and some of this functionality. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and walk you through all the steps of how uh, to hook it up uh, and get it going for your home. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of show you the basic components of the system. Uh, this is just a display window here. At the top, you will see there is uh, this plug for your H2 uh, port, so output port. Uh, that's where you will connect your nasal cannula. Um, and then right here is um, the chamber for the reservoir. Uh, and so uh, this is where oxygen will come out, uh, but this is also where you put your distilled water. And then on the back side, they give you um, they give you some information about the actual sensors or alarms or indicators that uh, the device has. Um, oh, alarms and then indicators, and then uh, some quick fix troubleshooting. Uh, and then um, just some other important information about what to do and what not to do with the system. This is uh, the power port for the system where you will connect your power supply. And then I forgot to mention uh, the forgot to mention the actual activation button. So those are the basic components of the system. System is a very easy unit uh, to use. So the first thing we want to do is fill it up with distilled water. This system can work with distilled water or RO water. I recommend using distilled water with the system. Um, if you use RO water, eventually you're probably gonna have to run a cleaning cycle on this system. This does have a cleaning mode, which I will show you later on in this video. Um, I won't go through the whole demonstration of the cleaning because this system doesn't need it, uh, but I will talk about it conceptually and actually kind of talk through um, what you would do if, if you had to clean the system. So the first thing you wanna do is just fill it up with distilled water. I'm gonna turn it towards me so I can see um, how high you need to fill it. You need to fill it to the max line on the display. So I'm gonna turn this towards me and then I'm gonna fill it to where it needs to be. And uh, the max line is about 550 milliliters of water. So basically around 16 ounces of water. A little bit more, probably 17 ounces of water. Alrighty. And then you would put your lid back on. Then the next thing you want to do is hook up the power supply. Now I have my power supply plugged in. Um, it's gonna look like this. And uh, this is gonna be the, the part that you would connect to the back of the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. Alrighty, so now the system is connected. The next thing you wanna do um, is go ahead and put take this off. This is your water collector. So um, most of these systems um, have a little bit of water moisture that travels with the hydrogen gas that is produced. And this actually will collect the water and you can, it's, it's, it has a quarter inch turn. So you turn it like this. So yeah, it'd be a quarter inch turn to the, yeah, to the right. And then you pop it off and you can pour the water out. And then you quarter inch turn back to lock it, push it down, quarter inch turn. Uh, so you want to connect this part, push it down onto your H2. And then I have a nasal cannula right here that I'll grab. And this nasal cannula will connect to the other side of this water collector. Just like so. So now you can breathe it. So uh, next thing you wanna do is turn the system on. So this functionality, this system can do a one hour mode, a two hour mode, and, or a three hour mode. Uh, to activate the one hour mode, you press the button once. 
To activate the two hour mode, you press the button twice and to activate the three hour mode, you press the button three times. So I'm just going to press it once to show you, to show you that it turns on. Um, and it's going to start producing hydrogen gas for you to breathe. And it's literally that simple. Uh, the two hour mode will have two beeps. The one, well, I should start with this. The one hour mode has one beep. The two hour mode has two beeps and the three hour mode has three beeps. Um, to turn the system off, all you have to do is push the button once. And now the system will turn off. Oh, sorry. Hold the button down for two or three seconds, then, and then the system will turn off. Sorry. Um, next, I think I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how you can hook up your nano stick to the system and produce hydrogen rich water. All right, so let's go ahead and do the nano stick and produce some hydrogen rich water with this system. So I'm going to slide it on over and then put the water here. I'm going to go ahead and take the cannula off and we'll just go ahead and set the water collector over here. Now, this is your connector tube that connects to the nano stick. Uh, the nano stick is just a diffusion stone. Um, it allows you to take the gas that's being produced and bubble it into water. Uh, it has very small micron or very small uh, pores, um, micro size, size pores, so it's going to help the hydrogen dissolve rapidly into the water. Uh, hydrogen is not very water soluble, so it doesn't want to dissolve, so the nano stick helps it dissolve fast. All right. So then you want to first connect your tube to the system and then you want to open up your nano stick and then you connect this part to the nano stick. Now you can push it on, push it on to enough that it causes a good seal or else hydrogen is going to find a way to leave. Okay, so then we'll just go ahead and turn the system on. And then we'll go ahead and place it in the water. And so now it's producing hydrogen, hydrogen water. Uh, it's going to bubble it. Uh, and, and so for a glass about 16 ounces or so, um, this glass is rather small, probably eight ounces. Uh, but a 16 ounce glass, uh, this can basically get over one ppm. Um, in less than five in less than five minutes. So it does not take long to saturate. Um, or produce hydrogen-rich water with this system, and uh, it, uh, it it works rather well to do so. So that's basically how the basic idea. They also also I kind of tap it around a little bit, start to uh, make hydrogen come through the pores. This is a brand new one. As you use the nano stick more so, hydrogen uh, and water gets into the pores of the nano uh, stick. Um, is going to allow for hydrogen to actually make its way through those pores easier. Uh, then um, and you're gonna have better performance. So they also allow you to do with this nano stick is you can uh, take a basically a water basin or a bowl and you can fill it up and then you can actually use it to wash your face with hydrogen water as well. Uh, or you can use it as a foot bath. Some people use it that way as well. If you do it that way, you have to disinfect your nano stick, but um, or you can dissolve the dissolve the gas into the water first and then soak your feet in it either way uh, so this is how you would uh, hook up the nano stick and so next I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the cleaning function of the system all right so the last thing I want to discuss about the demonstration of the system is its cleaning mode uh, as I stated earlier in the video I believe uh, using the still water will you won't have to deal with this but if you use RO water water that has some kind of minerals you're eventually gonna have to clean the system uh, and so to actually do that, I'm not going to show you the process because uh, this system doesn't need it, but I'm going to explain it to you. So the first thing you want to do is, ho um, well, actually, the first thing you want to do is take, you want to open up the reservoir and you want to pour out all of the still water you have in it or whatever water you have in it. And then uh, you want to go ahead and prepare another 550 milliliters of water. And then you would want to purchase, you would always, you would already want to have uh, Q-Life's uh, cleaning kit. 
it's a citric acid package that you would pour into your 500 milliliters of water, about 550 milliliters of water. And you would stir that citric acid until it's completely dissolved. This is very important to stir it until it's completely dissolved into the water. Um, because if you have any kind of citric acid that's not, it can end up maybe damaging the cell. So it's good to have it completely dissolved into the water. You're going to pour that distilled water with citric acid into uh, the reservoir up to the max indication line on the display. And then you're going to hold this button down for 15 seconds. Once you do that, it's going to activate the system to, uh, to start cleaning. And this, uh, indicator light that normally turns um, blue uh, is actually going to turn red. And so the cleaning cycle is going to run for 30 minutes. Um, after it runs for 30 minutes, uh, you are going to want to um, repeat the process. You want to run it for another uh, 30 minutes. Hold it down 15 seconds. Repeat that process. Um, and then uh, you're going to want to take that water out. Uh, pour it out and then put into a rinse cycle. So basically you want to take some distilled water and then you're going to pour the distilled water of 550 milliliters, put it into the max line, and then you're going to run another process of uh, 30 minutes for the system. So you want to go ahead and hold down for another 15 seconds. And then um, once that's done, you're going to pour that rinse cycle out uh, and then you can fill it up with fresh new distilled water. So that's basically the cleaning process for the system. It takes anywhere from an hour to about an hour and a half uh, to be able to clean the system. To, and this is going to make sure there's any kind of scaling or any kind of calcium or any kind of things uh, scaling to, with minerals is going to be um, not on the electrodes or preventing hydrogen gas production. So that is the basic demonstration for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to um, we're going to do a test video. We're actually just going to test uh, the H2 uh, gas production from this system. And then, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, we'll probably just talk about um, the H2 concentration with the nano stick. And I'll probably just tell you my results from it. Uh, as far as the promotion, I'll go ahead and talk to you about that now. Okay, so this system um, is a great portable unit and you can actually purchase this system through H2 Hub with our recommendation and actually get a 10% discount on this device. This device normally runs at about $1299 or $1299, $1,1299 uh, is its normal retail price. But through HU Hub, you get $130 off or 10% off, and you can actually purchase the system for $1,169, uh, which is an awesome deal for a device like this. Um, some of these portable units uh, with this type of quality can be pretty expensive. And so to be able to get a discount on this unit um, it, uh, through us, I believe is a good deal. So uh, you can um, go purchase this product. Uh, we will have our link for our recommendation in the description of this video. And uh, yeah, you can go from there and then um, it'll take you, it'll take you right through the prompts to be able to purchase the unit. So, all right, so next time we're gonna go ahead and do, in the next video, we're gonna do a test video and we'll see you over there. Catch you next time at the issue hub.